Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing magic. And the fun thing that we are trying to do today is we are playing Boros Midrange. Hopefully we can get some wins with this deck because it is super sweet and a little bit more competitive than the typical decks I run. Uh, this is actually taken from a deck that went 5-0. and I did change up a little bit because I didn't have a full play set of a couple of cards as well as just kind of tweaking around to my own play style. Uh, but this is a super fun deck and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay here uh, but the basic thing is it's mostly kind of mono red with a couple of white cards coming in I, I did try splashing in a Lyra for a little bit uh, for the Slathless uh, and even just coming down to the Demanding Dragon but it's just it's a fun thing we got to try to do and it kind of it plays really well as Sark and like if we can get it awesome if not like the rest of this deck is good enough so I couldn't stay away from playing at least some fun stuff in here because you know me that that's what I do so anyway let's go ahead and get into the gameplay because this this deck is super fun and here we go one thing real quick too i did get a new clifftop retreat so i have the fourth one there so just made that change just so you know all right here we go all right so here we are in arena standard playing boros midrange against grim death 54 bring it on good sir let's see what we got here in our opening hand all right two lands not bad a lot of removal we're gonna go ahead and keep this um i mean if we're against yeah, we will keep it. If we're up against... Um, let's go ahead and just play uh, Mountain here. Uh, Sacred Foundry, but just in case there's like a Land of War or something like that. If we're up against Control, this is really bad. Alright, so nothing there, nothing there. Alright, more Shivan Fires. Great. Yeah, Enter Tapped. I'm not too worried about these guys needing to do much else here right now. Hopefully we draw into land for Rekindling Phoenix or just something good. Run away Steamkin. Yeah, we will go ahead and kill that right away. And pass the turn. More stuff we can't play. Pass the turn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is... Oh, man. I've been struggling with land draws uh, today. Just like with what I've been doing deck testing wise, all sorts of stuff. It's been bad. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and fire off another one. Bring them down. And all, all we're going for right now is we're just trying to demoralize, you know, a little bit. Uh, that's that's the goal. All right, he played it after attacks. Um, and I guess we still have two removal pieces, one that can be coming back here. But we'll, we'll go ahead and pass the turn. I... I'm not as worried about this guy. All right, now we'll pass the turn. <laughs> Again, oh my goodness, this is not good at all. Oh. All right, we're going to pull this off. Yeah, let's go ahead and let him swing in. I'm okay taking one point here. And see what he has. All right, well, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and ship and fire again. We have plenty of removal in hand for anything else they've got. Uh, actually, everything else is pretty good against their deck. Probably the only thing I would like that for is like if they have a Rekindling Phoenix. All right, pass the turn. This is... Man. We're running 24 land in this, which maybe I should go up to 25 for the mid-range deck. Let's go ahead and bring out Dragon Egg. And pass the turn. I actually really am a big fan of Dragon Egg. Uh, I'm not sure you ever play a full playset, but there are just so many moments where it is very, very useful. As a blocker, as just uh, just a lot of things. So I think that we... This is instant speed, so we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. Probably let them kill the Dragon Egg first and then Spit Flame. See what else they bring out, if they have anything here. They might be able to spend some removal finally on this guy, but I, I just am a big fan of this dragon, especially if we have nothing else to be doing next turn. It's not too shabby. All right, Spit Flame. Killing the Chain Whirler. Hopefully they just have more lands in hand. And hopefully we get a few more in ours. The Kindling Phoenix would be great here. Yep, so we're going to go ahead, pay the two life for that. 
go to combat and swing in. Possibly draw out some removal here. They're going to wait for, for us to pay. We're not going to pay. And Rekindling Phoenix number one. And pass the turn. Let's see if they have double removal. Which we would actually be totally fine here with. Because we have the Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, the second one here. Uh, so maybe Goblin Chain Whirler next turn. No, just shocks right away. That's fine. Getting more stuff out of their hand. And land. Alright, still playing lots of land. Clifftop Retreat. So, Rekindling Phoenix is good here, but I think Demanding Dragon just punishes their board state quite a bit here. It requires a little bit more... Um, a different type of removal here. So let's go ahead, Demanding Dragon. Bring him down to 11. Ooh, Spit Flame. I guess I could have waited for a turn to bring that back, but we have more dragons. That's fine. And yep, opponent scoops it up. <laughs> All right, so keeping a two land hand, uh, not drawing anything for forever, but I mean, all the removal works if you're against a creature deck. That's really risky, uh, especially if you're up against control, but that wasn't bad. All righty, so here we are in Arena Standard, playing Boros Midrange again against Reaper King. Bring it on, good sir, or good madam, or yeah, I don't know. All right, two land hand again. We're on the draw this time. Lots of expensive stuff. Eek. I'm not sure. I, I just hate mulliganing when we still have some chance here. We have a bit of removal. Not very great removal, though. Let's go ahead and... We're going to be a little greedy here. Since we're on the draw, we can get something better. We'll keep that. That's not bad. Uh, land for the Varix Blade Wing. Kind of slow, but we're, we're going to keep it. We, we have two turns of removal into Blade Wing. That's not a bad play. Hopefully we draw some other action cards along the way. Alright, Sacred Foundry tapped. Pass the turn. Alright, so what are we playing against here? have a plane so far. Vanguard already. That's fine. We have a lot of removal here against him, which actually works pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and pass the turn now. We'll probably Shiv and Fire if they play anything here. Let's just go ahead and Shiv and Fire now. Make him pay for... Yep, that's fine. I wanted to go before combat just in case we could get him with it there. Alright, lightning strike and... Alright, so we're going to pass the turn. Could be taking quite a bit of damage, but hopefully putting enough pressure on them. A goblin chain whirler would be perfect here. A Johnny. Alright. So we'll let this resolve. These guys are going to get be doing quite a bit of damage now. Yet, put counters there. You are capable of more than you assume. I want to save the Justice Strike for a possible Lyra here. Let's go ahead and hit him here. I'm, I was debating on keeping the Lightning Strikes for the Ajani just in case. And I'll probably will keep one up. But they're down to 12. We are dropping down pretty far, though. Down to nine. And they can actually kill the Blade Wing now. All right, so Mountain. And yeah, we got to go Blade Wing. I mean, we have double removal that can do... Yeah, but they, they have us dead next turn. Hey, all right. So there is something to be said that I probably could have held on to the Lightning Strike there. Um, they're going to be paying four more here. I, there's a possibility I could have uh, got them with the lightning strike. Oh, all right. So yeah, that's that's game. 
Unfortunately, that is game. That is really aggressive. Vanguards into a Johnny, and I just didn't have enough of a board to really pressure them at all. I was playing a little slow, but that's fine. Alrighty, against Reaper King again. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> maybe we have a, a, a second chance here against this guy. See how it goes. This is a little bit quicker of a hand, so we will keep it. On the... Uh, Alright, playing red-white, actually. See if he has a vanguard turn two again. So, most people aren't playing Aurelia on this. So, we are playing against Reaper King again here. Um, I, I may not be showing the first game. Probably, though. Uh, just to kind of show the revenge as I win this one. Possibly. All right, what you got, opponent? Opponent's probably realizing that we're playing against the same person here. That passes the turn. All right, a lot of expensive stuff. Not too shabby on our land, so let's go ahead with Steamkin. Not going to be able to do much against Vanguard yet, but hopefully we can get some more stuff down. So the main point of Steamkin in this deck is partly to get him bigger or to you know, have removal fodder like like that. That was that was planned. Um, <laughs> and so let's uh, yeah, let's pass the turn. And also just to get us ramp us into our big stuff eventually if we're running a little low on lands. Yeah, letting it in. Unfortunately, let's see what they got. So resplendent angel. Yeah, that comes down. We will definitely lightning strike that. And, alright, so let's go ahead with Aurelia. Aurelia block dodges a lot of red-white's uh, removal here. They could have Conclave Tribunal. Which can be bad, but then Demanding Dragon into Lathless. Yeah, there's some good stuff we got. So yeah, Tribunal comes in. Okay. They did have to tap down the Vanguard, though. Alright, and so let's go Demanding Dragon into Lathless the next turn. And I'm guessing, yeah, they're taking it. I mean, you would pay four for this guy anyway. If they swing in with removal, um, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with them taking four from this guy rather than five again. Um, although we could build a pretty decent board against it. And this does have the ability to make our, our dragons bigger. So, yeah, so opponent passes the turn. All right, so mountain. We're going to go to combat and attack in here first. Want to put on some pressure. Bring out Lathless. Lady Lathless. And pass the turn. And actually, we have Lethal without playing the Varix with uh, her pump ability here. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. All right, so if we play against Reaper King again, then uh, we'll play the full two out of three. Uh, which, what's, what do you guys enjoy more? I personally am more of a fun type of player rather than competitive. And I feel like... Uh, your best of three matches are more for competitive, but what do you guys like? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, so there's a little taste of Boros Midrange, and I, I really like this deck. Like, if ever I'm just looking for wins or, you know, like, there's uh, there's sometimes you're, you're trying to go for different um, uh, quests on MTG Arena, and this is a great one for doing damage. It's a great one for uh, just winning games as well with red and playing a lot of red stuff. Uh, so it's a, it's a fun deck altogether. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please give the video a like, subscribe. It helps me out so very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thank you so much. Bye.